want to take this opportunity to talk to you about the chords that I used within the basic version of Oh How I Love Jesus. And if you notice, there were only two chords that I played within that song. And that was the C sharp major, and I also played the G sharp or A flat dominant. Okay? And those were the only two chords that were in that song. Let me play it for you right quick. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. All right, and that's pretty much it. Those were the only two chords in the song. I just want to explain to you a little bit about the chords and how they fit within the key. Uh, the key that we're playing in, of course, is C-sharp. And in the key of C-sharp, if you take every note and assign it a number, you, you get what's called that designation and what a lot of people call uh, and can use as the number system. And the number system is very important because a lot of cats use the number system to help guide and direct the song, and it also helps in communication. Uh, one of the main examples that I like to use for using the number system is when you're playing with the bass player who's like the foundation. A lot of bass players uh, nowadays like to tune their um, their their B uh, bass with that low B on the end down to a B flat so they can take advantage of that low B flat. But when you're talking to a bass player that has done that, you know, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for you to call out letters, you know, A flat or C sharp or, or whatever. Uh, it makes more sense uh, most of the time for you to call out a number because it's all relative, you know, to them and also what you're doing. So if you could do that, then everybody's on the same page and, you know, you're all working together. So that's one of the reasons why the number system is very popular. And in the case of Oh How I Love Jesus, what I'm playing, I'm playing the one, which is a major chord. And all I'm doing in my left hand is playing the root, just an octave root. In the right hand, I'm playing an inversion of the major triad. This is the major triad in root position. C sharp major triad. I'm playing an inversion of that. So this is root position. If I take my root, which is my C sharp, and move it to the top, I get first inversion. Okay, if I take my third and move it to the top, I get what's called second inversion. All right, so I have root position, first inversion, second inversion. So with that, um, I'm playing second inversion, C sharp major triad. All right? And that's my one chord. All right? Now for the second part of the song, I'm going to my five, which is one, two, three, four, five, which is the G sharp or the A flat. All right? And all I'm doing in my left hand, I'm playing um, a one and a five. And in my right hand, I'm playing in a G sharp or, or A flat triad in uh, root position. All right. So we have that. And those are basically the only two chords that I play in this basic version of the song, other than just playing the melody. And just one thing to note when you're learning your chords, it's great to learn them in your different inversions. Because what that allows you to do is, when you're playing melodies of the song, it allows you to keep your, your melody note up to the top. So, let's say, for instance, if I play the melody. See, this is my melody. The melody is always on top because I'm playing inversions of these chords within the uh, C-sharp major scale. I know I was playing different chords here, but it was all relative to my bass note telling me exactly where I am as far as my one and my five within the chord progression. Bass is very, very, very important in defining chords. A lot of times it really doesn't matter a whole lot, or it does because you affect the quality of the chord, but if, as long as your bass is right, that kind of defines the point that you're at within the progression is your bass. So, um, when you're practicing inversions, uh, it's always important to you know become fluid as fluent as possible, so that you can move around and be able to hear the melody and always keep it on top within a particular key. So, 
that's pretty much it. Um, there wasn't a whole lot. There were only two chords that we had to deal with, which was the major. And then we have the dominant chord, which is the five. Uh, and this is a, basically a major triad, or the dominant triad that I'm using here. If I really wanted to make it truly dominant, I would add that seven, which is that F sharp, and that gives that, that sound. So um, just take that. If you have any questions, post it to the blog. I'll be happy to answer them. And um, just stick around for the advanced version of Oh, How I Love Jesus. Thank you.